Okay, we're gonna try and clean this thing up. I've already knocked off. Find out that this is a 10 gallon kettle, cauldron, wash pot. Uh, we're gonna try and knock off the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna spread out one of these tarps. I just wanted to see if there was a maker's mark or that kind of mark. Might still be more underneath there, who knows. Um, but uh, I'll get this set up more and I will get back to you. All right, y'all. Pretty neat. We'll be back. Alrighty, everybody. So, we've got this pretty good for the moment. This is going to be part one because it is not looking the best outside. I don't want to get caught in the rain with this. Uh, we did get a lot off. I've got some wire brushes. I'm going to hit this over with and try and get every bit of rust off. And uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing is hitting it with some grill paint that's used to high temperatures once I get it as clean as I can get it. Um, unfortunately, there's three cracks. There's one gnarly crack right there. There's another crack somewhere over here. Oh, 
where is it? Let's see if I can find this. I think that's it. Yeah, there's that one. And uh, there's that crack. So, basically, I looked online and I asked if these could be mended. They can be. Uh, I'd have to take it to a specialist to get it professionally welded because if I try that, uh, it can get too hot and crack the cast iron, which I kind of don't want to go that route and take that kind of risk. The second option is JB Weld which is affordable and very doable. So we will be doing that instead. Once I get this kind of clean, I'm being very ginger with this top part because that's where all the cracks are and I don't really want to beat on it with the hammer. So I'm going to take a little Phillips head and try and get this all the rest of the way and in the next video we're going to try and hit this with the wire brushes also if we can get all this other stuff off um, these big chunks on the side here i'm probably going to try and hit with uh, the this pry bar and the hammer again and we'll show you the inside i did a little bit on the inside and it just, that stuff on the inside is on like hard concrete mud. So, I'm going to try do a little bit more on the inside. See what we can do. But that's it for part one of restoring this cauldron. Um, I don't think we will end up ever fixing this leg or this arm piece arm piece a uh, handle piece but uh, we're gonna try and at least make it look a lot cleaner and not be so rusty all right y'all uh, if you like these kinds of videos or like my other videos please leave a comment like subscribe all that good stuff it really helps me out and I really do appreciate it um, and Hopefully, we won't be too long in between videos for this. And I hope y'all are doing well, morning, noon, night, wherever y'all are. And we will see you all in the next one.